hello hello libras what is going on it is in tuesday welcome back to another beautiful tuesday so in this recording we're going to go ahead and see what you guys need to know during the market retrograde what market retrograde has coming towards you guys and what y'all need to be aware of once again this is going to be a very very once again very fucking general reading information about tarot readings will be down below if you would like to get a tarot reading with your grams today just you know do everything in the description down below and we'll get you set up once again for libra sun moon venus and arising and across much entities meaning you're not a libra and your sun your moon your venus your rising your mercury whatever you call it and or your horizontal horoscope and your sb and oz once again very general so let's go ahead and get started for libra which i you know during the mercury retrograde okay <laughs> even though it's airy season mercury retrograde is sprung upon us yes it is we have a lot going on during this series season. Mercury retrograde, a solar eclipse on the eighth, like, and it's before my birthday. What a gift! <laughs> I'm gonna actually try to see if I can have someone take some photos for me. If I'm even gonna be up at that time, because I promise y'all, solar eclipses are nothing that you don't want to miss. But they are hectic, so get ready for the thunder. <laughs> and it's before my birthday, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop going on a rant. And go ahead and focus. Here we go for Libra. What Libra needs to know. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the Divine Oracle deck. What does Libra need to know during this Mercury retrograde spirit? Some moon is rising and or cross watching entities. Okay, you need to have some patience because I feel like your patience is running low. And then you need to use your personal strengths for you, not against you. Embrace. Let's see here. What else information? And paying attention. So Gemini's also got that card at the end. So y'all could be dealing with other Gemini's. But I do feel like abundance is coming in and out of your life. A lot of y'all Libras are working on your finances. Patience. Manifestations are on the way. Strength. Determination. Perseverance. And self sorry, sorry, self-discovery. A lot of you Libras are noticing patterns and are things about yourself that you're doing. You're like, why do I even do that? Like, the fuck? <laughs> um, so yeah. Also says embrace. It says find peace with your current state of being. So a lot of you, y'all need to find peace with your current state of being. So it, maybe your, you know, your love life is not the way you expect it to be. Maybe y'all need to uh, finally stop living in Lululand and come back down to fucking reality and understand that you know it's not happening the way, the way you thought it would, and that you need to give it some more thought and more patience. Pay attention. Pay attention. Look out signs of the divine. The, acknowledge red flags. A lot of you Libras are doing this. It don't matter. It's cool. It's cool. No, it's not cool. Because the more you say this shit, the more it's not cool with you. If something is bothering you and it's been on your mind heavy, heavy, figure that shit out now. Because after the Mercury retrograde, it's going to take you a hot second for the next one to hit. And then you're going to be like, damn, I should have just got that shit figured the fuck out. It could be finances, family, friends, lovers, exes, pets. It could be emotional things. It could be maybe you want to go find a new therapist. It don't matter. It don't matter if you want to move, stay. It don't matter. You need to seek your your help and your support in a, in a safe manner, okay, Libras? With this patience, you do need to have patience with your manifestation because I feel like in a Mercury retrograde, they are going to start showing you slow progress. Because nothing in Mercury retrograde happens like that. Everything happens very, very slow and or the way it's supposed to happen. It doesn't happen the way you want it to. So, like, for example, yesterday, this barista was going back and forth with me over a Starbucks drink. And I ended up walking out of there with two things. One, my drink that I was supposed to have in the get-go. And two, a $15 gift card. I was patient enough. And if you patient and you really wait it out, you will start reaping your benefits, Libra. But not for all people might end up like this. Maybe the more patient you get, the less shit will happen to you. It all depends on, you know, how you looking at things. You know what I'm saying? So th the more you get worked up, the less uh, shit's going to come to you faster. So if you just go with the flow, Libra, you'll be cool. So now let's look into your love life. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> let's see what Libra's need to know regarding their love life during this Mercury retrograde and their cross-watching entities you're gonna be single and that's where a lot of you also are trying to be patient too because like it's been a minute since i've been out where it's been a minute since i went on a date and you're like where am i lover at not here not yet single alone isolation lonely guarded you are kind of guarded though libras and you kind of giving people like the the evil eye a little bit even if you don't notice it let me see here for strength change 
I want to put that with strength. You are changing, though. There are things that are changing about you that people can't handle right now because it could be the tone of your voice. It could be maybe because you're getting a little, a little older, a little taller in your family. And it's like, you ain't a baby no more. You're like, yeah, I'm growing up. Like, some of y'all are in your 20s or getting in your 30s. And some of y'all in your preteens and you're starting to show your parents that you could be more responsible and they don't need you. And like, what is going on here? Okay, change. Regeneration, growth, menopausal cycle. Okay, some of y'all also growing out of some old things, just like a butterfly. When a butterfly first goes into its cocoon, it's a what? It's a worm first, and then it goes into its cocoon, and then it starts healing and doing its thing. And then as soon as it comes out of the cocoon, it starts doing. It starts, you know, increasing, you know, and trying to fly and trying to, you know, be free with the wing. You know what I'm saying? So just like any Libra, that's how y'all are. Y'all literally like a, a butterfly that's trying to grow and trying to, you know, just find its, its way to its next, uh, you know, its next beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? embrace unfinished business i feel like you also trying to embrace some unfinished business in your in your life in your history it could be friends families lovers it don't matter it's not over patterns back and forth baggage paying attention we got the mask card yeah so some people could be masking you and lying to you it says hidden motive concealed to someone's lying so be careful with people right here right now leave room hook up with that single, I'm going to put it over here. I feel like you're just hooking up with people. You're not really trying to be in a relationship. Even if you are, they just seen you as a hookup and an anxiety. So, Libra, you, you got an anxiety and the pay attention card just like Gemini. So, y'all could be dealing with a Gemini. But look out signs from the divine. They are there. Okay? And make sure you're paying attention. Hookup. One night stand, intimacy, casual relationship, and fling, and anxiety. Stress, depression, panic attack, and restless. So, a lot of you are not getting a lot of sleep because of the situation. But let's see what your person want to say to you, though. This one to be interesting. This one to be interesting. So let's see what your past people want to say. And all new people can be new and past. Let's see here. The passion I felt was enormous. I didn't know what to do. Mm. These people didn't know what to do with your energy, Libra. They say you just too much for them, and they don't know what to do with you. I can't handle your love. So the people can't handle your love from your past. That's why they, you know, it's unfinished business because, you know, in this car, this woman is hung this man. He got flowers, but, you know, he he's coming with a hidden motive. And that's that mask card. You got to be careful. Mask on, mask off. Painful memories. And that's, you know, you're very strong, Libra. They cannot, they cannot break your ass down. They can't break your ass down. Why is it that you love me? They're saying, why is it that you love them, Libra? I pull out two more. Let's see here why do i feel so lost so they they also have an anxiety and depression too because they kind of feel lost that you don't you know you don't care about them no more what is the truth so they also trying to figure out the truth is it true that you know you really don't care no more is it really true that you know you moving on without them and they can't handle that because they really thought that they would keep you know lingering on your energy you like oh no no no! i told you what it was before i want out <laughs> they want out they want out they really do they really do they really, really do all right let's continue I'm going to go ahead and start pulling in some tarot. And then we're going to start wrapping up your messages. I hope y'all be having a good day though, Libra. Because I know I have. Let's see here. Oh, hold up. Let's see. What is Libra? Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see here. Regarding this message. Look. Seven of Cups reverse. So I'm gonna put this here with patience. So a lot of you really aren't like looking at all your um all your options, or maybe you feel like you don't have a lot of options. That's not true. Is that you don't need to be worried about no relationship right now. Spirit actually wants you to focus on something other than a relationship. Yellow strength card reverse. A lot of these people think that you don't have no no strength, and some of you leavers, you know, you don't. And it's the truth, and you need to show that you do. You need to make sure these people know that you're not a pushover, and they don't control you. They don't own you. Okay, you as your own motherfucking person. I know I keep looking over here, y'all, because like, I'm like kind of like right next to the door. And I'm looking at it. I'm just paying attention to my surroundings, y'all. I, I have to. Ace of, uh, sorry, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Ace of Pentacles reverse. So I feel like people around you are going to start asking you for finances. I know money. Say no, because you work hard for your money. Okay, Libra? So don't give your money to no one during the Mercury retrograde because they ain't going to give it back to you. Mask card, Ace of Wands. And this is someone definitely from your past. They will come back and ask you for forgiveness. Say no, walk away. Ace of Wands is someone who's like, you know, still fiddling. And they, you know, they they basically the fiddler. You know, all they do is play around with the Death card and the Queen of Swords. So Spirit said with this, you know, I'm going to put the Queen of Swords with the hookup because... 
you you not seeing it you know and you're not really seeing the truth of the matter but this death card is an anxiety over here because you're gonna stop stressing out you're gonna dead that shit you really are you're gonna dead that shit okay libra you're gonna end it scorpio aries leo sag leo pisces cancer scorpio general aquarius okay let's see here the moon card the nine of pentacles reverse so i feel like you're not gonna start you know, holding back anymore. You're going to start opening up to people and telling people how you truly feel about them, Libra. And you know what's crazy? People from all over the world are going to start, like, seeing you blossom. So if you, like, do something online or you have, like, a clothing brand or, like, maybe you want to do modeling, you should keep doing it because I don't feel like, you know, you need to stop. Maybe people in your family were like, you need to stop doing that or, you know, you do too much. Like, now, swords, these painful memories are really for the people. But look, Queen of Wands. I don't put that well. Why do you love me? You love people because you're a lover at heart. Libras are natural born lovers. Libras and Aries are literally like the opposite of attracting to each other. If you look at the horizontal horoscope in the circle, not the Chinese one, the regular European one, the one I'm talking about, right? That one that was actually first made, right? Um, Aries and Libras are right next to each other, all across. Same thing with Pisces and Virgo. Same thing with, I think it's Leo and, uh, you know, Aquarius. I, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's also, I think it's Sagittarius and Gemini. And then it's Taurus and, um, what is that? Taurus and Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta start looking at that from, you know, from a perspective of that. You know what I'm saying? Look at what these zodiac signs around you are doing. Pay attention because it's right there in front of you. Okay, Libra, but this also with this Queen of Wands is you taking charge, you taking control. You not allowing people to step on your fucking ten toes and your fucking ten fingers. Ten plus ten is what twenty. You got twenty of everything. Two two plus one, you know, is three. You know, keep adding that. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to have you know, your way the fucking highway, but shit, it's gonna be your way or the highway this time because this time around, you making sure people don't step on your shit and you take that control. With this, the moon card reverse, that Scorpio energy, like I said, Scorpio next to a Taurus, I see Taurus energy out here because that's how I look at the cards. I look at the cards from across the um, the horoscope of the, you know, of like the worldly signs, okay? And the Nine of uh, Pentacles reverse, that's you not giving in financially and you stop doing that. And that Ace of Cups is also, sorry, Ace of Pentacles reverse is also showing that you not, you know, not taking no looks to nobody from a, a corporate or a job. It don't matter. If you want something, you're going to get it, but you're going to get it on your own. So let's go ahead and start wrapping up your messages. Let's see here. Let's see what the yin yang oracle deck has to say. If you want to come out, this deck act, this deck always act fun because sometimes it act like it do and then sometimes it act like it don't. Let's see here. Let's see. Look, illusion, Neptune, confusion. So you kind of confusing people right now, Libra. You like, you like all in your, you know, all in your grind, all in your business, and everyone's like, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck Libra got going on. Look. It says closed off, guarded, and resistance. So you closed off. You don't really trust other people. And as I wouldn't either because they be on some lying shit. So let's go ahead and get your message of the Cosmic Oracle and then your guarded angel message. And that's going to be it. Let's see here. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. The Libra. Life can be hard and life can be wonderful. But which would you focus on? Exactly. Which one will you focus on? Will you focus on the good or the bad, Libra? Because you got some things coming in for you that you're gonna have to focus on and you're gonna have to pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it could be it could be done, but it all depends on the energy you're pulling out and you're pulling in. Stop looking outside for the answers. The answers you uh, need are already within you. So stop looking outside. So don't ask uh, another reader and go like, what, what should I do? The answers seek within you. You already know what you need to do. You just, you know, bullshit around a fucking bush. Basically at this point. Because you already know the answers. You seek your already within you. You a fucking Libra. Ask the Aries then. Go ask your Aries and what they think. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be like, boom, gotcha. Let's see here. Let's get your closing message and that's going to be it. Let's see here. For Libra and they close a message spirit, please. And thank you. What do we really need to see here? No. Well, ask me, I'm going to take it because I shelved the deck before I even came on here. Page of Water, sensitive, open hearted, intuitive. And it's crazy because you low key kind of got some of the similar cards in Gemini. So Y'all could be dealing with a Gemini, even though I really don't see a lot of that energy here. I see a lot of like fire, a little bit of air, a little bit of water, a little bit of earth, a little bit of like all zodiac signs. It's all everywhere. 
but you are an intuitive person you do have you know your heart is open you just have to stop giving it away so fucking easy libra and understand that you got to give people dokey dokey when they've earned that shit not at the bare minimum because libras ain't no bare minimum motherfucker and you never been that way so why are you acting like that now so that is gonna be it that's gonna be all do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to mca do not forget to stay blessed stay blessed intuitive and i will see you next time bye libra